They're like a business card. Welcome to my new studio. Today I'm going to show you... Oh wow, my hair is doing weird things. Oh well, I'm going to show you guys three different freebies that I use when I do sales and booths and that type of thing. So, come on in. So this is how I make my like uh, mini coloring book page like giveaways. I just I print them here and then I will cut them on the cutter back there. And it's like um, eight cents a sheet, so then I get like four, it's like two cents per one, and then I have a stamper that I stamp on the back. And um, this is one of the like, most effective ways that I've found, because like, people love having a mini coloring page. They like coloring it, and then they keep it, and then it also has my contact info on the back, just like a business card would, but it doesn't get thrown in the trash like business cards do. There you go. And that is one of my freebies. One of my tips that I learned at this big art festival, Art in the Park, is to carry your money with you all the time. I had this wallet and then I found a bag that it fits perfectly into that's no other shoulder bag. So I used the wallet for like storing everything in it and then I put the bag over my shoulder. Also having a variety of prices at your show is huge. I sell these original minis for $25 for the small ones and $35 for the large ones. And they're great because people can fit them into stockings for stocking stuffers. They're an affordable price and uh, people tend to like the $25, $35 range. And the next ones, the framed ones, their collages are $45 and the big ones are $200 and up. So that's it's a great way to make sure everyone can get some of your art. Hey guys! So I already showed you my little like mini coloring book pages. I'm going to show you my two other freebies, business cards, which are pretty standard. So here are my business cards. I designed them myself. There's one of my paintings in there and then I did all the text and stuff in Adobe Illustrator. And I also do bookmarks. And I used to cut out the individual business cards before I had like more money to be able to afford to order a box of them. I still cut out my own bookmarks because it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. But here's what they look like. They're like a business card, but they have this info. And if you fold them in half, they are the size of a business card, so people can still put them in their wallets. But I've noticed that way more people keep bookmarks and actually use them compared to business cards. Business cards kind of just like go right into the trash when people get home a lot of times, but the bookmarks, people will, I'll see them using them in books later on, which has actually been really, really cool. And what I do for the bookmarks is, again, I design them on Illustrator, and sometimes I cut them out at home, sometimes I cut them out at the print shop and I have had people cut them for me but it's easier just to do it myself a lot of times cause, but I do the registration marks so they those print automatically uh, at the edge of each item or at the edge of each uh, piece and so I just line those up and then I cut them on a like a long edge like I showed you already in the other in the other part of the video for the coloring book pages all right so those are my three freebies three freebies three freebies say that five times fast three freebies i can't do it um yeah and these are the name tags that i use this sheet has names on it and prices but i print blank ones and so then i'll just cut them out and i'll write in the names and there you can see that on the bottom those two are blank so that's kind of how i do my promotional materials i designed it all uh, if you don't know i have a back graphic design background I was a graphic design major until like the last semester of college when I took a watercolor class and I was like, oh my gosh, I love watercolor. And I totally dropped graphic design because I didn't, it's not my, I like it as a love-hate relationship. If you guys want more of my thoughts on my graphic design and like why I switched from graphic design, let me know in the comments. And I, I'm starting to do more talk videos again. It took a while to get back into them just because I take so much time to edit, but I would like to do more. So if you have questions about graphics or art or art school or anything, do let me know. And if this is your first video, be sure to subscribe, or if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. I make art videos every week and occasionally other topics, um, but art and travel are my main focus. So, thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for joining me in my studio tour.